Right then, bits that we've used to make this their mill. And we'll start the working end. I've got PVC blades and made out of grey 100ml wastewater pipe or fowl pipe. The grey I've found is the stronger of all the colours that you can use. Um, it's held onto the motor by a keyless chuck, which is an SDS conversion. Um, the SDS end is the thin end there that sticks out at the front, which would uh, fit into the SDS drill. It is unscrewed from the chuck and I've sandwiched that eighth part steel plate in there which carries the blades and I tightened it back up. Obviously the blades turn clockwise and therefore it keeps tightening. That will never loosen. And the chuck, it's then, rather than putting a drill into the end of the chuck, I've put the chuck onto the shaft of the motor and tightened it up. Perfectly strong, perfectly good and very cheap. The motor itself is a size 42 stepper motor. Um, it's a 5.5 volt stepper motor, which I've put two full wave bridge rectifiers on to split the two circuits up and run them in parallel, not series. Um, and a whole lot of that is housed within a 100mm wastewater pipe stop ends, which are unscrewable, therefore you can get into service it, so that keeps the weather out of it. And I get heavy smear my grease at the shaft end, so as it repels the rain if you get in, that keeps it totally housed. Um, I drilled some holes in the bottom of it to let it breathe in case it gets hot. Um, the yaw mechanism on the top of the pole there that lets it swing backwards and forwards is bearings from a golf cart wheel. Um, uh, just a manual pull one. Um, and I cut the stub axle out of it as well. So that full thing is the full kit. I also welded wee plates between the two bearings to hold them at the height I wanted before I made up the wee frame. The self furling tail was held that angle by a piece of 12 mm screw rod. Um, that angle is around about 15 degrees for the length of that tail and the size of their blades. And the weight of that tail, that was the angle I needed to put it at for it to start furling. At the speed I wanted to furl it, I actually built it to spurl at a rev rather than a wind speed. Um, wind speed furling is totally dependent on what angle and how you put your blades up. So a wee bit of jiggery poker there to get that to come together. But the wire that comes off the back is on a broken end of a fishing rod. We used to have problems with the wire rolling up on the yaw, we maybe doing 360s, which was causing problems. So I put that bit of fiberglass rod up there from a fishing rod. And what happens is if the wire gets a chance to wind up around the pole, it bends the fishing rod like a fish would. Um, and obviously the fishing rod wants to straighten again. So what it does is when the wind drops, the fishing rod unravels it um, and unwinds the wire from the pole and therefore that's maintenance for you as well and the tail itself is just some scrap metal I just tack welded on and yeah. I've also got a, a chain on it there which stops the tail going too far on anti-spin um, on the opposite end of the furl sometimes the motor kicks out quick and the blade will come around and hit the blades which had happened on a couple of occasions but it doesn't do it now because I've put a chain on it um, and I've got an SDS drill bit welded on there as well, which is a stop when the tail's on full furl. Um, it lets it get into 90 degrees, which it likes to sit at kind of regularly, although right now there's not a breath of wind out there. It's hardly working at all. Um, the blades on the leading edge of the blade, um, I've made the blades the exact same profile as an aeroplane wing, so it's kind of thick at the leading edge, and on the back of the blade, um, it's filed into, it's like a knife edge, so the blades are very quiet, they go very, very fast in the slightest of wind. If you look at the trees just now, you see what my trees are normally looking. I've got a eucalyptus tree here, the leaves are just flickering and no more. Yep, you're still, you're still managing to get 120 revs out of the blades, very, very fast. Um, probably about the 15th or 20th set of blades that I've made experimenting with different shapes and sizes and materials and I found that these PVC blades from the grey pipe <coughs> are absolutely astounding. They've been up in winds which are, if you look at some of the other, some of the other videos that I've made, the blades have been up in 60 mile an hour winds and strolling on quite proudly as well. Anyhow, we've got wires, tension and wires on the poles here which hold it together, tension and wires down the bottom as well and that whole lot of that was sits on my deck. And I'm in my one-up 
bedroom here, so we're probably sitting a good 10 metres off the ground here. Um, and I do sit in quite an elevated position. As you can see, I've got the whole of this area, a build up wind. Where I live, by the way, right down the, right down to the coast as well. And, uh, so, it does get rather breezy here, rather regular. Although this is a fantastic evening. Weather-wise, maybe not electrical production-wise, but a fine day nonetheless. Anyhow, the whole lot is all welded up. Um, mm, try to stay away from wood as much as I can. The wood's not very strong where I come from. It gets very gusty very quickly. Um, so a good bit of welding is definitely required. Anyhow, take your eyes and happy building. But the PVC blades are virtually free if you go into any building site and ask any contractor doing any grounds works if you could have a 750mm or a 1m length of PVC pipe they'll probably give you it for nothing but your blades are free and you will get 3, 4 or 5 blades I get 5 blades at a 100mm pipe because of the, the way I make the blades um, nice and fast anyhow, be safe guys and watch if the blades let go, they can travel Oh, and the whole thing is standing on a one inch gas pipe not a scaffolding pole it's got plenty of support in it and also if you try and lift a scaffold pole at 21 feet with the weight of your motor on it you're a mighty strong guy because that thing out there is very heavy the way it is and that's only one inch gas pipe as I say if you put plenty of wires on it you don't need scaffolding pipe you can keep things rather light it's easier when you're getting on in life a bit like myself for maintenance, for lifting it up and then. Anyhow, be safe guys, take care.